Hey guys, I am back with a review for you guys, and it is On E by Anna Kari. This is a new dystopian series that is coming out this October, October 4th, and I'm very grateful for Anna's publisher for sending me this way because I just could not put this book down. So anyways, what Eve is about is about a 16-year-old girl named Eve, and about 12 years ago, there was a bad plague that wiped out half of the United States, and a lot of people got really sick, and Eve's mother was one of them. And when Eve's uh, mother's condition got worsened, she, um, Eve's mother sent Eve to a special school, all-girls school, and that is how our story begins. So now 16, she is about to graduate. It is the day before her graduation and she is really excited. She, that is all that she's been talk, um, has thought about and been talking about. And not only she's going to be graduating, but also her best friend Pip, who has been there for her since, um, since she was five. And she's just um, been really there for her. So, um, she, like I said, she's really excited, and she cannot wait to go to the Sands, which is a special place that this um, leader of the uh, new United States has, um, who calls himself the King, has been talking about, about a place that's been... Um, new develop, no sickness, good food, you can get good jobs there, you can get um, really nice places to live, and so yeah, she's really excited about going there with her friend Pip, and cannot wait, and she's also really um, a little scared about her speech that she has to say in the next day too. So anyway, she bumps into the outcast, kind of the strange girl in, at her school, and her name is Andra, and Andra looks like she's about to escape. And she's um, not really happy and not um, wanting to stay there any longer. She found some things about the school and some things that they're doing to the girls that she does not want anything to do with, and she wants out of it. So she's dressed up all in a soldier kind of guard, um, what the school guards wear, and is about to leave and tells Eve this before she leaves. And Eve does not believe her. She thinks that she is lying, thinks that she is just fibbing because she, that's what she does. She does a lot of um, lying and she doesn't believe her. So that night, um, she goes out and sneaks out and sees if she's telling the truth. And what she finds out is really unbelievable what sh um, <laughs> she cannot believe what they do and she just so she flees from the only home and without no choice about having with no choice but to leave her best friend Pip behind and to pack up and leave so outside now out in the wild with not knowing what to do because she's never been outside the walls before, outside her school walls. And now it is um, <laughs> out for survival. She is now um, has to try to uh, support herself. And that is where she once again um, meets Andra again, and that is where her journey continues with her. So she's out looking for food, and she bumps into a young boy named Caleb on horseback after saving her um, from a attack from a bear. So, but when soldiers come close in to try to take Andra and um, Eve back to school, she is um, flees with Caleb to a underground um, a camp and where she stays for the past few days for the past few weeks. And that is where um, um, a young, a young um, boy who is in his 20s, who is the oldest of all the boys, and um, is the leader, and he goes by the name of Lent. And um, 
for some reason, uh, Caleb and Lent know, are really um, know things that Eve doesn't know, and she sees that there are some things between them, and she finds out later, and I don't want to get into much detail about that. But anyways, um, as her days turn into weeks, she um, is teaching the boys there how to read and write, and one of the boys named Styles, which is, I love that little boy, he's such a funny boy, um, he wears a tutu. Yeah, guys, he wears a tutu. He's a five-year-old boy that wears a tutu. I almost laugh. I laugh so, so hard at that little boy. He's so funny. He's so adorable. And he's like a little brother to, um, um, with, toward Eve, and I think that is so adorable. So anyways, um, she also learns how to trust, um, Caleb and the boys because she's never been around boys before. She's always been taught that boys are cunning and dangerous and should not be trusted and she's just not really sh she was just not really sure about if she should trust these boys and Caleb. But after she learns how to trust them, that is when she starts to um teach them, um teach uh, the young little boys. And she also sees that Caleb is really smart and really um, different from the other boys. And that's when she learns how to trust him and also is, um, he also is winning her heart. But then when the soldiers once again is coming really close to the camp, she once again has to flee and that is where her journey continues. So yeah, that is what Eve is about. Um, I really definitely recommend this book when it comes out. I give this book 10 out of 10 stars, and I love the mysterious um, cover of this. I love how it has the main character Eve, and it has this, how she's running over a deserted bridge, and it has fog and mist to it. Such a cool um, kind of effect to the cover. So yeah, that is Eve. Hope you guys enjoyed my review on Eve by Anna Kari. Look forward for my next review on The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. And um, I will see you guys next time. And happy reading, guys. Bye.